Meet artist Flavio Pellegrino. Born and raised in Argentina, he has lived in Miami, Florida, and for the past 10 years, New York. Each place has had an influence on his art. Recently, Flavio and I took a walk in Chelsea Waterfront Park, where I asked him how living in New York City has changed his art process. I've been pushing myself. For example, my heroes are the Impressionist, or some of them. And, okay, I took that, and all these years in here, I've been pushing myself in that direction. Doesn't mean that you don't change also your style. But even if my style is changing and developing and, and improving, there is also that part of myself, the classical art, that I want to push further, you know? I'm probably going to stop being classical because I'm, I'm doing it in, in, I'm trying to do it in a new way. But my art is being changing and developing over, over the last 10 years in New York, but also because of New York. You know, I, I feel totally attached to, to the city. I love this river, the smell, you know, the sound. I move with the river, with those waves. And, you know, sometimes they are a little more peaceful and sometimes a little more not peaceful. So my art is reflecting that. The last couple of years, I've been focused pure and exclusively in beauty, or the colors, or the beauty that colors can bring to my paintings, you know? But it still goes with the waves. Let's talk a little bit about the colors you use. There's a softness. Yes. Yes, in most of them. Most of them. Because, like I said before, uh, I really love some of the Impressionists and their colors, you know? Especially Monet, of course. And I try to get those colors and see what else I can do, you know? Um, and it has a, a big softness and, and, and beauty feelings involved, definitely, yes. But it doesn't mean that I'm not doing other things, but I really enjoy those feelings. I really enjoy those colors, make me happy. What kind of projects are on the horizon for you? What's up next? Well, next year, I'm gonna have something in Miami, New York and Italy. Last summer in, in Italy, I was in South Italy in Lecce having a, an exhibition in there. Very nice. And there are different possibilities for next year to come back to Italy. Let's talk about a little bit about this show at Agora Gallery that you're in now. Well, they are, some of those works are from the series named Trampoline, which it was in 2010. And other works are from the following series, which it was Lemuria. Uh, 2011. So basically, in there you can see development from those two years when it comes to color and, and sensations and feelings. Tell me what the inspiration was for, for some of these. One of them is, the name is Mind Explosion. It's a little funny story actually, you know, because uh, I didn't have any color in home. So I just have some purple, magenta, and white. And I wanted to paint. And I said, okay, let's use the three colors that I have in here. And I mix a little green that I have around also, I remember that. Uh, so basically that one is totally different compared with the others. You know, just because I didn't have the rest of the colors with me at that time. But the need of, the feeling of painting was high. And I, and I needed, I needed to paint. So, and, and, and it turned out to be such a, powerful painting and, and the motive is just flowers, you know, but totally different flowers in a different way. I, I love it. And that, that one is, that, that was what happened with that painting in particular. But other paintings, for example, Serenity, I was trying to find a different color, a different contrast. Simple, nothing, you know, complicated or, or I just want a natural contrast. Two colors that usually don't fit together. And, and I found it in that way. And still gave me such a feeling of serenity that I name it serenity, you know? 
And every painting has a little story behind all of them, all of them. And pretty much I remember every moment when you're painting, you know? I wonder if people really get how connected the artist is to a work. And uh, obviously there are memories when you, you've painted that. Uh, oh yeah, and you can come back 10 years after to the same painter just to look at it. Um, probably you're gonna remember every single minute and all what was happening in your mind and in your life, you know, during the time that you were painting that one. When you put your heart on your painting, uh, the connection, it's impossible to break that connection. And I think that people, even if don't understand what the painting is or the message of the painting, uh, they can see, they can feel that kind of connection between artist and painting. And actually that's my goal, uh, be able to make people to feel the same things that I was feeling when I was painting. If that happens, I'm okay. You know, that was the goal. And, and, and I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm grateful for that one. See the art of Flavio Pellegrino in the Unbound Perspectives exhibition, November 27th through December 18th at Agora Gallery in New York City.